Arcadian Vanguard presents the Wrestling News in your daily wrestling newscast for Tuesday, November 19th, 2024. Good morning, I'm Mike Sempervivi. We begin today with Monday Night Raw broadcast last night on the USA Network and featuring matches taped on November 11th at the Van Andel Arena in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Bronson Reed emerged as the official fifth member of the Bloodline team for War Games after he was aided by Solo Sokoa in defeating Seth Rollins in the main event. This could be that something what special. What in the world is going on on our announce desk? Solo Sokoa has arrived. Death Valley driver, Senton. Seth got distracted with Solo ringside. And now Bronson Reed is lined up for victory, Wade. Sir To win the rematch. Bronson Reed does it. Here is your winner, Big Bronson Reed. Well, had a massive assist. In the opening segment, Rhea Ripley made her return to television attacking world women's champion Liv Morgan. This led to a brawl involving Ripley, Bianca Belair, Jade Cargill, Naomi, and Io Sky against Morgan, WWE women's champion Nia Jax, Tiffany Stratton, and Raquel Rodriguez. Well, you better be brave when Rhea returns. The protective mask is on. Because the last time we saw Rhea Ripley, she was badly injured in a parking lot outside NXT. Yeah. Liv and Raquel were walking away with a baseball bat. War Games! Oh! What the hell? I thought Rhea Ripley was going to be out for months! Rhea Ripley, who suffered a broken orbital bone, is absolutely destroying Liv Morgan right now! Lost her absolute mind! Number one tag team contenders, the War Raiders, defeated the duo of Dominic Mysterio and Carlito. In other results, Rey Mysterio and Zelina Vega defeated Chad Gable and Ivy Nile in a mixed tag team match. And Intercontinental Champion Braun Breaker and Sheamus ended in a no contest when Ludwig Kaiser attacked both men. In ratings news, SmackDown experienced a nearly 20% drop in viewership last Friday, according to WrestleNomics. The episode drew 1.234 million viewers to USA Network, which was down from the previous week's audience of 1.536 million and marks the lowest viewership for a non-preempted show in SmackDown history. The rating in the 18-49-year-old demographic was a .32, also down approximately one-third from the previous week's rating of .47. Later last Friday night, AEW Rampage drew its second lowest viewership in its history, averaging 186,000 viewers tuning in and a .06 in the 18-49 year old demo. Both SmackDown and Rampage ran against the undercard of the Mike Tyson against Jake Paul fight streaming on Netflix, which drew more than 60 million viewers. In more WWE news, the first episode of Monday Night Raw on Netflix set for January 6 will be held at the Intuit Dome in Inglewood, California, according to an official announcement made yesterday. Rapper Travis Scott is also reportedly set to make an appearance at the show and is also reportedly recording a new Monday Night Raw theme song. It was also noted yesterday by Mike Johnson of PW Insider that Becky Lynch is expected to be back officially with WWE in time for the January 6 Raw Netflix premiere. Some sources indicated that Lynch may even have already signed a new WWE contract. Lynch officially became a free agent last June and has been on hiatus from the WWE since then. And finally, turning to Japan, All Japan Pro Wrestling held night four of the 2024 Real World Tag League Tournament last night in Tsukuroka. The Saito brothers defeated Masashi and Seiki Yoshioka in the only Block A match of the night. Victorious and Block B matches were Cyrus and Harley Jackson, and Fuminori Abe and Yuma Aoyagi. And before we leave you today, we'd like to remind you that however you consume your content, you can find the wrestling news 24 hours a day and seven days a week across social media. On Twitter, follow us at Wrestling News AV. Our Facebook page is also Wrestling News AV. The wrestling news can also be found on the Arcadian Vanguard YouTube page. And for those who utilize Amazon Echo devices, just tell Alexa to play the Wrestling News Podcast, and remember to make sure you add podcast at the end. Once again, for daily updates, breaking news, and more, follow the Wrestling News across social media. 
And that's the news for today. If anything happens, we will be here to tell you about it. No clickbait, no paywall, just the wrestling news. The Wrestling News is a division of Arcadian Vanguard, and the Wrestling Newscast is a production of the Arcadian Vanguard Podcast Network.